All right, we salute our veterans as we salute this award-winning journalist and author of Drive On, The Uncensored Journey of Bedouin Bob and the All-Americans. Tell me about it. Well, this is, uh, um, I, I kept a journal during the first Iraq war when I was sent to cover it and uh, never published it. Um, this is a story of why it was never published, but uh, I thought that uh, it was a... It was something I just had to do. It's like uh, the biggest story I ever covered, but it was, I did the worst job of uh, uh, saying what went on, but mainly because I was under operational security, that you couldn't violate, you couldn't say what you were doing and what, where you were uh, without risking somebody's uh, life, especially my own. So. Listen, you come from a family of veterans, your father, your brother. Tell me about that journey. Yeah, um, and... Um, uh, I always say I come from an American family, but my dad served in the Navy in World War II, grew up on a farm, the son of immigrants, and yet uh, fought on a ship in the Pacific Ocean against the Japanese. And uh, uh, my oldest brother, Ed, was a, is a Vietnam vet, who, uh, and highly decorated one. Uh, he got two Purple Hearts in uh, 10 days, and he's in the Hall of Valor, soldiers and sailors. So. Uh, uh, and I was drafted at the end of Vietnam, and when the war was over, they were transitioning to an all-volunteer force, but uh, went to uh, Desert Storm as a reporter and got assigned to the 82nd Airborne Division. So, uh, and I speak irrever uh, reverently about these guys because they're the greatest bunch of characters I've ever met in my life. And if you see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, your appreciation grows by leaps and bounds. Where do they get the book? Uh, it's um, uh, the cover's just being designed, and I'll be um, publishing the uh, uh, website information. And one of the great things about it is it's published by a group called Tactical 16, which is a group of Iraq and Afghanistan war vets, who are dedicated to telling stories of veterans by veterans. Um, because every veteran has a story and you want to get your voice out. So uh, I'm, I'm just really honored and humbled to be able to do this. Listen, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be sharing some vignettes that I shot along with my friend Paul Schilling, part of the Air Heritage Museum at the Beaver County Airport. An incredible place, Battle of the Leyte Gulf. Also, we're going to share some thoughts about Okinawa, the movie Hacksaw. A conscientious objector, and he actually saved 75 soldiers without firing a single shot didn't even carry a weapon. Desmond T. Ghost, the name of that man, Mel Gibson, directing that movie, and it is out now, world release at a theater near you. And also going to talk about the battles that took place during World War I. And right now, EA Games has a uh, video out. It's entitled Battlefield One, and it talks about all of the battles of World War One. And my son, Robbie, who happens to be a senior at Quigley, he's become a historian because of these games as far as some of the epic battles in our country's history. And I'm a big fan of those games because it's actually teaching 20th century history to a lot of young people who otherwise would not be educated. So I love that. And there are two ways to look at it. You know, a, a battlefield. Is it the big movement uh, of troops on a map? Or is it the get down in the dirt with the troops kind of thing? And uh, it, it changed my life, the most meaningful experience. Uh, if you have to uh, dig a hasty grave, uh, you three feet wide and 18 inches deep, and you stack all the dirt on one side, so if an artillery shell hits, it, the dirt might absorb something. But if you take a direct hit, there's nothing they can do. But all you have to do is shovel the dirt back on top of you because you've dug your own grave. That's how serious it gets. And, you know, as far as Veterans Day goes, every one of my brothers and sisters who ever wore that uniform with honor, this is for you, and that's a salute. All right, significant moments in our country's history. I love when you talk history. Just give me a few. They come to mind. Well, you know, it, it, our country is founded by the military. There was a military that was fighting before the country was even formed. So, um, you know, I... I look at it this way, and I learned this in living with the troops. GIs, soldiers, want war least of all because they're the ones that have to bleed and die in it. But it falls on their shoulders to do it, and they're the ones who stand Mike up and assume the risk, take all the risks, and it's be because of them. But, you know, the Revolutionary War that found, uh, founds the country, the Civil War that redefined the country, uh, World War One that defines America is... Uh, is a force in the world, and World War II 
defines America as a superpower. Um, but all of that took place, and then we kind of lost our way with Korea and Vietnam. What happened? It becomes political. Uh, and it's, you know, is it a limited war? How do you limit a war? Do you fight a war to win? Do you fight with overwhelming force to get it over with as quickly as possible? Korea, Vietnam, uh, yeah, you're right. It's, uh, and, and those become political events, much like, you know, the uh, second war in Iraq and, you know, what's going on with ISIS. Last thing that you said earlier today, and I think this is the perfect way to end, by telling everyone to salute a veteran today on Veterans Day and to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. A great way, a community parade, a social hall, American Legion, BFW, or of course, go to one of your local cemeteries and pay tribute. Just look for the patriotic flag next to the gravestone and I think you'll find your way and you'll take time and feel better if you do by spending a little time today saluting those veterans past and present. But you said really there is nobody that gets out of war without being wounded in one way or another. There are no unwounded soldiers in war, right? Even if you come home unscathed, unscarred, there's that invisible wound that stays with you. Because this stuff changes your life. Uh, you accept the fact that you might die. It's uh, it's time to have that conversation. You know what I'm talking about. Right. Uh, so it does stay with you. And, um, and I will say this. And here's a shout out. Greatest honor of my life is to be an honorary member of Bravo Company. 2nd Battalion, the 325th Parachute Infantry Regiment, the 82nd Airborne, the Nasty Boys. They call me brother, and I love them. Well, listen, the reason why they love him, because as a journalist, he was all about the story, and he always made sure that they got top billing, the men and women of the United States Service, whether it be the Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Coast Guard, they are always going to be his headline when it comes to covering America and its heroes. The real America's team. Have a great Veterans Day. So long, everybody.